Kent Family Magic Circus is unique in the fact that uh, we're a family of nine that uh, travel around the country performing shows. Uh, that's not completely circus, it's not completely a magic show, uh, not completely vaudeville, not completely um, anything anyone has ever really seen. Um, it's uh, it's a variety show to say the uh, to say the least. We have the singing and the dancing. Uh, we have the magic. We have the juggling, the fire eating, the bullwhip tricks, the mind reading, the escapes, the um, just about everything in our show. And always adding more and more because each of the kids get more and more uh, ideas and uh, new and new new and newer talents all the time. Besides the stage performances, we have strolling entertainment. Juggling Jim, shown here in his stilts, is probably one of our most popular attractions as far as our strolling acts go. He plays a variety of uh, different characters, he juggles, and he does some pretty amazing stunts. Then there are mascot costumes, Pal the Skunk, Sir Galahad, our sword fighting lion, the pink gorilla that chases a banana. He's really popular. Kids love to pose with him, and something a lot of people have never seen. And of course, Cynthia, Princess Cynthia, plays Freckleface the Clown, making balloon animals for kids. We also have our Dino Walker. Here you see uh, the Grinch riding him, and here we have our paleontologist, AKA Miles, riding him. We also have Magic Mouse, and Max, or Maximum Bunny, as we like to call him. He's big and kids and adults alike just love to give him hugs. Miles, of course, likes to ride his little uh, clown bike around and make balloon animals for kids as well when he plays Milo the Clown. And yes, I do stroll in magic. This year we have our uh, Piste de la Résistance, so Piste de la Résistance. Um, we're adding a skunk uh, costume. It was um, designed by myself and a man in uh, Florida. Who, uh, whose family makes it in Peru. Um, and uh, because we sell skunks at our show, uh, little skunks that people can um, they have springs in them, so that people can make them look like they come alive, uh, we wanted to add the skunk as a uh, special uh, feature in the show where, um, because I, I kind of do a demonstration of the skunk on stage. Uh, we'll have the skunk come out and take the... Uh, the toy skunk away from me and walk away like it was her baby and I was abusing it and um, and then after the show uh, the mascot skunk will be there to meet and greet and of course sell skunks so it's kind of a marketing ploy as well as a fun fun thing to add to the show and it's unique because uh, we are the only one with this particular skunk like everyone today searching for something my hunt for the elusive skunk costume the perfect costume well, it started online. I visited various websites that I had uh, done business with in the past and searched over the different things that they had. But those costumes were either uh, too expensive or too cheesy or a mixture of the both. So I spent uh, days, perhaps even weeks, searching for that perfect skunk. I uh, made phone calls, sent emails, um, but I just kept running into the same brick wall. The costumes were either uh, really expensive, three, four thousand dollars, or really cheap and not really well made. Um, often they were ugly or not really the type of cute that we were looking for, and all of them had to pass my wife and my children's cute test. I did finally meet a man from Florida whose family in Peru made the uh, costumes, and uh, working together with drawings, we came up with this. This is our skunk. Part of our arrangement was the man was going to be allowed to sell the design. So I made some changes to the costume. And as you can see in this video here, um, I've added stripes to the back. Um, somehow he had neglected to put a stripe down the back, which we all know is the defining character. I also spray painted the uh, pink and um, you see in the area I'm pointing to here, I actually put too much pink on and had to use a lacquer removal. I also added eyebrows, which gave the, uh, the skunk a lot more character. And I added stripes to the back of the head as well. Now, they were sewn and glued on, and it took quite a bit of time to get this thing ready.
but I think it turned out to be pretty cool. The nice thing is, is that when the mouth opens up, uh, it allows air in and a, a spot for the miles in this case to be able to see out of the mascot. You can also see out of the two holes here. One last thing to do. I wanted this skunk to be able to spray, so I developed this. Uh, there is a compressed air cartridge, hose, a container to hold the talc, and a hose that goes, well, basically to the bottom of the, um, of the skunk. Now, what I had to do was I had to take the uh, razor knife and, uh, well, uh, violate the skunk. I had to cut a hole through the foam and the material and enter into the, uh, the tail of the skunk. This is where the hose is going to run through. First, I had to uh, make sure that the hole was big enough. Incredibly, it uh, just took a little bit of a cutting. The next thing I had to do was to uh, actually install the device. The uh, compressed air container is, goes down the arm sleeve, and uh, the talc powder container uh, basically will be set and sewn into the side. And, um, rest right about under the armpit of the uh, performer but there's plenty spacious in there so it doesn't really interfere with them and then the uh, the other hose uh, the output that runs to basically the bottom now miles is uh, as we put it here in quick time is uh, climbing into the costume where he will uh, help demonstrate the, uh, the spraying if it works uh, one thing we're not going to do is we're not going to put his feet on him. That takes a little bit extra uh, time here. We basically wanted to be able to get the idea of uh, how the whole thing came together and uh, show you that uh, the spraying device did work. Um, as I'm strapping him up here, I will explain that uh, I did do some uh, research and some prototyping of the spray device and found that the one thing for sure, I had to make sure that uh, everything was very airtight or else I'd get top powder spraying uh, away into the costume and uh, possibly even suffocating for miles inside there. Uh, this is going to be our first try at seeing if the whole thing works. Oh, it's not going all the way down there? It doesn't go all the way down there. Shoot. Whoa! That's good. Let go. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, you will. Do it again. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, right. whoa, whoa. All right, stop. That's good. Really, whoa, whoa. Did it test okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think it really is. It's up. All right.